everybody. I think this little guy is going to be my new little mascot. Isn't he cute? I'm really proud of myself for that, guys. You don't know how hard it was for me to mix those all up together. Well, look, I just found a square drill on my desk. I don't know where that came from. Let's add it to the little snail buddy, will we? Shall we? Shall we? I think I'll throw this cardboard away. It's so strange. I, uh, I talked about this before. I don't know why they're so sticky. You really can't smell the perfume anymore. And I washed it out with soap and water and I let it dry for like forever. But it's still so sticky in there. I don't get it. It's really bugging me. I'm moving on. Anyway, I have a few paintings to share with you on this video. And they are all special ones. They're all special ones. So, and they are all my favorite packaging, which doesn't do any good because these um, drills do not have DMC codes. So, kind of bums me out when they do that and then they... Anyway, all right, so this first one, let me find the drills first. This one is really, this is like special, special, because I have not seen um, one of the drills that are in this packaging on a diamond painting yet. So this is like the special of special. So that's why you're seeing it first. So this is going to be a really simple, quick painting. It's a 30 by 40. There are eight different stones that will get placed, and you can see there's very minimal area where the drills will go. Um, there's like, on this little spattering here, there's like four. This is almost all drilled. These are almost all drilled. So, but as far as the butterfly itself goes, you can see screen close up. Cute, right? I think it's cute. I like it. Plus it's blue, which is a favorite. Now, the drills are your typical shiny rhinestone type. But there are some little pearls that will be placed um several places on the wings like with this right here this is where the pearls will go pearls will go around the edge of the antenna down on both of the bottom wings and then we have a few right in here and right in here so that's where the pearls will go so that's one of the special things next we have four different blues which is pretty cool. I like that. We have yellow and silver, the typical silver, which is more clear really because the, the rhinestone itself is clear, but you have the silver backing. And then here's the really, really cool one. Check out those. They are black bases with silver like silver silver, like metallic silver, not just clear glass with a silver back. So those are really, really cool. I've never seen these before. And I always wondered why, um, when you got the special rhinestones, why they were always, like if you needed white or black, why they were like this. They were like the traditional drills. So I don't know why they couldn't have done this before, but I don't know. It's cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to see um, how this is going to turn out because those, the black base with the silver, let me see where they're going to be because there's quite a few of them. Okay, so there's, um, there's going to be a line along the wings. So there'll be, there's a good amount of them on the butterfly. So I'm curious to see how different that looks on the painting compared to the traditional
clear silver ones. So it's kind of cool. Something different, which is always exciting, right? Okay. So there's only six. Did I say six? No, there's eight. Eight different rhinestones or stones. One of them is the pearl, which is really, really cool. So there it is again. These, all of these paintings still are coming from eBay. I had, <laughs> it's kind of funny. If you are going to Peggy Buy, I have a ton of stuff on my wish list. And then I had started putting stuff in my cart because I was going to like do an order. Well, I don't know, I just haven't ordered it yet. So every time I go in, because I go in every couple days and like check their, the new arrivals and, oh, excuse me. I would notice that my cart kept like changing the number. Well, last night I went in while I was at my parents' house. I was sitting there on the couch and I'm like, holy crap, my piggy buy cart is $1,200. I had 14 paintings in my cart. Well, there was like 12 quantity of one, 10 quantity of one, eight of another, 22 of one. I was like, how does this even happen? So there's some glitch in their system. So be aware if you save stuff in your cart. Now it will save. It doesn't delete them out. It doesn't erase or anything. But those numbers tend to change, which is a little odd. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but it just be be conscious of those, how many quantities you're getting of your paintings before you check out, because you might get a surprise on your, your bill. Oh, it made me laugh. I'm like, $1,200. <laughs> okay, so this next one is another partial. It's a cool one. So it's a really cool, like, tribal elephant. It kind of matches that other elephant that I got, um last week or the week before kind of the same type of you know look to it but this is the special rhinestones whereas the other elephant is a full drill and it's the traditional drills traditional stones whatever you want to call it so this is a really cool piece i think something different than i'm than i normally i was trying to like branch out a little bit so this one is nine different stones and this has a couple of um, the special shaped stones to it. It's not just the rhinestones. So we have pearls in this one also. We have the adorable peach teardrops. Couldn't think of what that shape was. My mind just kind of paused for a second. So we have the peach, which I've had in several other paintings. We have the really cool blue pearls because it is a pearl shape, not the drill shape with the Aurora Borealis coating on it. So that will be the majority of the outlining on the elephant for that. Then we have um, some pearls, tinier pearls with the Aurora Borealis finish on them. Kind of iridescent. But well, yeah, I guess they're the same as the larger pearls, but here's the difference in the size. These are really small. These are smaller than the actual drills are. Um, they're, they're even smaller than the drills. Is what I should have said. And then these are really cute little red, just round, smooth topped. They're not um, faceted. They're just round. And then the, the rhinestones, we have red and green and blue and yellow. So that will be the actual rhinestones. So this one, I love these. I really love how these look. I've gotten these on a couple of other paintings. Um, the butterfly, the big butterfly that I did had these. So they look at, they look really pretty. All right. 
So that's that. Nine different stones on the elephant. And he'll go... He'll take a little bit longer because there's a lot of these. And it's a pretty concentrated area. Um, it's the entire elephant head. So if it was just the elephant head as the painting, it would be considered a full drill. So there are a lot. It's a big area. Because this is a 30 by 40. Really cool. I love the galaxy background on these. Really pretty. Okay, the next one, we will do this guy. If you've been here long, you know I have a thing for peacocks and owls and tigers and cats and sunflowers. I'll stop. Um, so anyway, this is a beautiful, this is almost a full drill. I think I would consider this a full drill because really, for this being a special stone um, painting, there is, this is a huge area, which is the main reason I picked this one. I'm not crazy about the colors on this, but... You can probably guess if you've been here long and you've seen my other peacock paintings. Um, you can guess what's going to go here because it's my favorite special stone that comes on these paintings. So this is a 30 by 40. As you can see, there are 12 different stones that will go on this painting. So it's pretty, pretty cool. It's odd. What is that? There is a weird, oh, it's, oh, no, it's not under. I thought it was under the adhesive. It was just a weird little piece. It's almost a full drill. Not quite. And let's see. I'm pretty sure this is the right. Yes. Okay. So the other reason I'm excited about this is I, since there were so many drills, this is almost a full drill, I knew I would have a lot of extras, and I love the rhinestones so much because I use them on my cards. So that is a plus there. So we have more of those pearls, which is becoming the norm. We have the baby pearls also. Then look at these things. These things are massive. They're huge, and I love this. I mean, it's the perfect peacock feather eye. Um, it's just the perfect look. And there's quite a few of these. The, the last time, I, um, I didn't get any extras of these, so I'm kind of hoping this size I'll have a couple of extras. All right, so here are our regular rhinestones. We have the silver or the clear, red and blue, two more blues, so we have a total of three different blues. We have an orangey red, not quite orange orange, it's got a little bit of red in it. We have a purple, and then we have um, almost I guess this is a turquoise, this is more blue. And then we have our yellow. So you can see there's quite a few drills in these bags. So I think I will have a good leftover amount from this painting, which is pretty exciting. I already have quite a good collection because <laughs> I've become obsessed with these special drills paintings. And I've done quite a few of them already because they go pretty quick since they're partials. So I've, I've, I'm getting a pretty good size amount of my leftovers. So let's take another look at the painting. You can see the majority of it um, is going to be covered, just not the eyes or the beaks. I mean, you know, it's, it's not really a full, but in the world of special rhinestones, I think this could be considered a full. So... Pretty cool. I'm excited. The only thing that bugs me is the inconsistency of that. But I guess they couldn't put one of those stones here because it's off the painting. But 
yeah. Anyway, so I think they're still cool. Handsome dudes. I love them. Peacocks are just a gorgeous, gorgeous animal. We have a, um, let's see, where were we? Oh, it was in St. Augustine at the um, Ponce de Leon Fountain of Youth. They have peacocks that it's a, you know, it's a, I guess it would be considered a state park. Um, but they actually have the fountain there you can drink from the original spring that he um, discovered. And they have peacocks that roam the grounds. And they actually have a white peacock, um, an albino peacock. And he is stunning. If you have never seen an albino peacock, look them up on Google. Because, wow, I mean, it's just so cool. Okay, so this last painting for this video is another special drill. And it's one of the really cool ones with the built-in frame. These are really, really, really fun. Um, I have not framed that big butterfly that I did like that. Um, I need to get one of those poster because it's like a 50 by 60, I think. 40 by 50. I don't know. It's a big one. So I need a, I need a, I need a bigger frame. I just haven't gone and bought one yet. Lazy. So this is more of a tribal looking piece. But it's an owl, so I had to have it. I think it's pretty cool. It's completely different from my style. But I have a couple of dream catchers. Um, I have that one that I made there. And I have um, one hanging there. And I have another hanging from the pull chain on my ceiling fan. So um, this is pretty cool. I like this. The frame is just really, really neat. I like that. So you get a double framing without the effort, right? So 30 by 40, 14 different gems on this puppy. So let's take a look and see what we have in this painting. Oh, I see those little blue pearls already. Okay, so the regular... Oh no, can't say that. Okay, so we'll start with these little baggies. We have pearl colored teardrops. We have purple teardrops, which are beautiful with that Aurora Borealis coating on them. We have red teardrops, that same coating. And then we have faceted, clear, um, almost holographic teardrops. So can you see that well enough? Is my face blurring? So those are a good size too. They're a little bit bigger than the other ones. You can see next to my finger there the size. And then the other ones, we have some round faceted of the kind of holographic color. And then these are the orange faceted round. And then we have purple of the faceted rounds. I just love that finish on them. They're so cool. It's almost like an oil slick because the it's you know the color shifts really really neat okay now in our little packaging here that I like so much we have our little tiny pearls which is quite a few there then we have red that's that reddish orange color not quite orange not quite red and yellow then we have um, lighter, I don't know, just a blue and a green. And then we have our blue pearl or borealis, whatever you want to call them. The little tiny round pearl shaped, pearl type drills. And then here is our red red, 
which almost looks pink on there, but that's the red, the actual red. It looks pink on camera, but it's red. So this has got some really cool different stones. I like that there's a lot of different, not really shapes, but a different, different um, textures. Is that the right word? Kind of, not really textures, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm trying to say. So that is that. I think this one is one of my favorites for the day. Super cool. Very, very cool. Um, so it's strictly the dream catcher and the owl itself that are being drilled here. So it's going to be pretty cool. Let's see what the outline. Oh, the outline will be those little white pearls. So the little white pearls go all the way around where you see the blue arrows. Those little blue arrows, that's all going to be those white pearls. So that's going to be really cool. Very cool. And then the teardrops will go in the dream catcher. And, oh, and his wings, too. And his claws. I love that when they do the, the teardrop shape for the claws. What color are they? Are they these? Is it these? Is it these? Nope. His claws will be pearl as well. Alrighty then. Okay, so I need to show you all some finished pieces. If I could get some finished. Um, I've been crocheting a lot because I found a new technique, a new pattern, a new... It's not really a technique. It's a stitch, basically. So I've been, like, really anxious and wanting to see it progress. Um... So I haven't been doing a whole lot of diamond painting, um, making a lot of cards for design team projects, that kind of stuff. So I need to get back into my diamond painting. I still have not finished my custom. I've got about this much left to do. So I need to just sit down and do it because, um, but I'm kind of sad at the same time to finish it because that's my baby and then I'll be done with her. So I don't know, but anyway. All right, so here is my crochet project. I figured I'd show it off because it is really cool. And it took me a little bit to figure it out, so I'm really proud of myself. Um, and, of course, I've got it folded up to the back side. So you need to see this side. Isn't that cool? So this is actually, it's called interlocking you're doing two layers, but the way you stitch it, it puts it as one. So you get a thicker piece than a normal um, crocheted blanket, not a lot thicker because the stitches still are, you know, in between each other, but it's, it's more like two layers. So you can, you can see the gray and the blue are not connected right there but they are connected up here. So it's really, really cool. And this is going to be a, another tribal um, Native American, um, not tribal, Native American looking blanket. And I'm using ombre striping, self-striping ombre yarn. So that's how I'm getting the two-tone. This next section is going to be, it's called the Two Rivers. So it will be um, kind of like a, a wavy, so that's why I switched to this blue. So it was more of water. So this is uh, this one is called butterflies. So this is the butterfly right here. This is the wings. This is the butterfly body. It's really cool. Really, really excited about this. So that's why I've been crocheting a lot more than doing my diamond painting. So anyway, that's that. Oh, I just scared off Simon. He's so skittish, poor little thing. Just paranoid little booger. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye. Bye. I'll see you all soon. And thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Um, yeah, check out Peggy Bye if you haven't. Because like I said, it's there's really, really cool things. And a lot of, Peggy Bye has a lot of these special drill. They have a whole section on the special drill 
paintings. And a lot of them have this built-in frame on them. So if you like that look, then check that out for sure. And Emily is still selling Girl Scout cookies as of right now. If you would like to support her, she has a pretty big goal of 800 boxes. Yeah. So anyway, she, each year she ups her goal, which is good, right? She doesn't want to just stick to the same selling goal each year. So um, I will put my email address in the description box if you would like to order cookies um, and have them go towards Emily's account. Um, I will send you her personal link to ABC Smart Cookie and you can do that as well. Um, but you have to email me to get that link. I can't publish it um, publicly because there's a lot of other information on the site. So anyway, um, yeah, I guess that's it. I'll see you soon.